did you? Mm -hmm. There are a lot of patsies down there for sure. Oh my God. Never knew many auroras, but I knew a lot of patsies, knew of them. You know, who was it? Uh, the one that used to be the airline stewardess? Oh, that's, uh, yes. We have speed. My mind is bad. Oh, Never mind. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have thrown yes, you like okay. that. You radiate so much self-confidence. Have you always had it from the time you were 19? 19? Why'd you pick 19? When you were, who the lady was, broke her ankle and you filled in for her, you know, and you just oh. kind of got there, you know. No, you could do it. I don't know if that's self-confidence. I think it was experience. I think it was long years of training. Maybe that's what confidence is about, having already done something. I'm not sure I have confidence about things that are new. The thing is to fall in love with the spontaneity feeling, and then you don't worry about whether you have confidence or not. Mm. You just live completely in, the, uh, in what you're doing at the moment. I was telling some people today, I told the director this, about you. I'm intimidated by Sean Connery a little bit because I admire his work so much and mm. he's a force. Same way with Clint Eastwood a little bit and Shirley MacLaine. Hmm. I, I admire you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I admire you so much and there's just so much there with you. I don't know what it is. Do you ever find that you intimidate people? Sometimes? Oh, hell, yeah. I don't know why. Well, because they've read my resume. If they just forget about that bio, maybe I could, you know, they just meet me on a subway, maybe it would be easier. I find I have to uh, contend with that. <laughs> I said, Paxton, I said, hey, you know, did you go in there with her and say, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy, and then get over it? And he was kind of, yeah. Uh, you know, I, mean, I think we all do. When, but that's, that's just flattering. It's a good thing, in a way. I yeah. don't know. I don't know if that's good. It's no fun for me. <laughs> I think we watch. I watched you. I, you know, believe it or not, I'm embarrassed to say, I'm, I don't think I ever saw Terms of Endearment. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I was in college then. I was that's working. pretty great. <laughs> and I never saw it. But I love this movie. You I haven't mean, yet seen Terms? No. But I've seen oh, tell this. me now what you thought of this, having I love this movie. I thought it was very sweet, you know, because mm -hmm. I heard some people thought they liked it, some people didn't, and I was going into it not knowing what to expect. Mm -hmm. And, man, I just felt like I knew these people, and I, I was really in love with the movie when it was over with, and I asked my friends around, and they liked it, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, I liked it. You know, I well, liked I was so admiring. I mean, everybody in there, I mean, I just felt for this woman. It would woman be great if you would now run terms and tell me what you think of it, having seen this one I've got, first. I really want to go see it. I, I've kind of, I could have done it for research, but I said, no, I don't think I want to do that. I want to approach this as a, a separate book. Right. And uh, it plays. You know, I thought good. it was great. You know, obviously, I knew that there was some backstory, but I wasn't lost mm -hmm. ever. No, you know, because we, we allude to it. I mean, was it fun to play, you know, watch him, I guess, dying? Have you died a lot? I don't want to say that. Okay, sure strike I that question. Because <laughs> well, you, we don't want to let people know that you died. I don't even true. want to get that on television. But playing the wide range that you play in this movie, you play everything from, you know, uh, almost like a teenage girl that's going after Bill Paxton, you know, to, <laughs> to more of a senior citizen, I guess you'd say. Is that fun for you or stretching oh, yeah. or just interesting? Well, I love that. I love that big, extreme sweep. Love that. Oh, yeah, because there's so much depth and breadth and height mm -hmm. and uh, experience and time. That's the great thing about getting older. When you go to a movie, it is so interesting, certain stars, and Jack Nicholson comes to mind, he can just walk on screen in a wide shot, zoom, and you're there. Have you ever figured out, since you have the answers to most things in life? <laughs> uh, oh, don't say why that. Why is it somebody like this guy so striking for all of us? Why is he so command our attention because he has the courage to do nothing most people they're trying to fill up every second and be noticed he doesn't care is that uh, something he thinks about or is that something that's just I think it's intrinsically him because mm -hmm. the camera doesn't lie a lot when you really get used to people I don't think I think the camera finds the truth, but in the process of finding the truth, it can sure lie through a lot of layers. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some people on the screen that are so lovable and darling, but in real life, please. But in the final analysis, they probably are lovable and darling, and that's what the camera finds. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> about that. Nice meeting you. Nice. you know, we say that in TV because if you're on every day on television, eventually.